What's up, lovers of whiskey and watchers of YouTube? I am the Malt Activist, and this is it. One of our last videos of 2021. And what a great 2021 it's been, you know, apart from obviously COVID, which we can all not have in our lives. I agree. But it's not been a very bad year. It's, I think it's been a good year, you know, as far as whiskey tasting is concerned. And, you know, I managed, I think, thanks to the help of my uh, whiskey club, MSA, link down below if you want to join and be a part of the shenanigans. I think thanks to my whiskey club, I've, I've managed to taste a lot, a lot of whiskeys this year, thanks to the different tastings we went to, uh, you know, uh, samples from different distilleries and so on and so forth. And I've been in a, in a very envious, you know, very enviable position uh, of being the recipient of said expressions and... Uh, yeah, this is what all it boils down to. And uh, yeah, so here we are. Uh, here we are finally deciding what, what our whiskey of the year is going to be. Some of you who, who have been watching this channel for a while, maybe you have an idea already. If you do, then kudos to you. Uh, for those of you who don't, it might come as a bit of a surprise. I know. Uh, a couple of the runner-ups that I'm going to mention here might come as a surprise as well. But what, that's what I like to do. I like to, sh I'd like to shine a light on the, uh, you know, on those whiskeys that are kind of flying under the radar, but doing good work. And I think that's really, really important. So my criteria for selecting my whiskey of the year, very, very, very simple. Number one needs to be an age statement. That's right. No NAS whiskey is getting on my list for whiskey of the year. Simple as that. If you don't put an age, you're not on the list. I'm going you know what? It's right here. One second. Here we go. The Pender Inn, Portwood. Fantastic dram. Checked all the boxes. I didn't put an age. So, not on my list. Good whiskey though. What are you gonna do? So, must have an age statement because eh, NAS, bad. Okay, age, good. No matter how small, put three years. Three years one day, put five years, put four and a half years, put 800 years, I don't care, but put an age. That's what I'm saying, just put an age. Okay, number one. Uh, number two, minimum 46%, okay? Stop with this 40, 43% BS. Okay, we don't like that. We want our whiskeys at 46% minimum. 48, better. 50, even better. 55, awesome. 60, amazing. 65, uh, getting dodgy. 70, no. <laughs> no, thank you. You know what I mean. No whiskey less than 46% on this list. That's it. The word, the word is out and it's in stone. We will only, we will only consider whiskeys for the highest accolades only if they are at 46% or higher. Okay. And finally, last but not the least, they must be affordable. I, I cannot have a whiskey of the year that no one can afford. Or very, very few people can afford. So I'm not saying no one can afford. I'm not going to put a 10,000 pound whiskey here as my whiskey of the year. What? Doesn't make sense. So I've capped it at an even 100 US dollars. That's right. That, which is roughly 75 pounds sterling. Okay, that was my cap. If you are over and above that, you do not qualify for whiskey of the year. Because I think spending a hundred pounds, oh no, spending a hundred dollars or 75 pounds on a whiskey is already too expensive, you know? And so uh, that's where I capped it at, uh, 75 pounds or a hundred dollars. That was my cap. And of course, goes without saying that it needs to be, of course it needs to be, because if it's not, then what's the point? of it being on this list. So uh, just to recap, uh, must be age statement, must be 46% or over, and must be fantastic, fantastic value for money. Okay, I think that's a pretty good, uh, you know, uh, standard to judge, our, uh, to judge our whiskey of the year. Don't you agree? Cool. Now, before I reveal my whiskey of the year, I have two things that I have to tell you. Two things, there you go, two things. Number one, we have some runner-ups, 
Okay, I have a couple of runner-ups that I want to that I want to talk about, which have uh, which were in the running and they ticked all the boxes and they were also very very good. Of course, didn't make uh, top place, but that's okay. Uh, at least we get to know about them. Number one. Number two. As you can see, the stash is still growing freely. It has no enemies in the wild. It grows with gay abandon. I use the word gay very lightly. Of course. So here's the deal. This is what I'm going to do. For those of you who already watched the channel, you know that at 2000 subscribers, this baby is gone. You, you will finally be able to see my upper lip. I know at 2000 subscribers, but I will also sweeten the deal. How's this? At 2000 subscribers, I will pick four, four random subscribers who will each receive at their doorstep, logistics permitting, of course, uh, you will receive at your doorstep my Whiskey of the Year 2021. That's right. And for that, all you have to be is a subscriber. That's the most important thing. So if you're watching this video and you're not a subscriber yet, man, what are you doing? Get in on the game, man. Get on the bandwagon. Get yourself a free bottle of whiskey, my whiskey of the year 2021, okay? Or what's the worst that will happen? You won't win, but then you get a lifetime supply of this, which is, haha, as MasterCard said, priceless. No, MasterCard is not paying me any money for this endorsement. So here's the deal, guys. At 2,000 subscribers, I will shave off my and number two, I will pick four subscribers for my subscriber list. I'll probably do a live stream of that and I'll pick four random people. And like I said, logistics permitting, I will deliver. I will deliver a bottle of whiskey, which is my whiskey of the year 2021 to your doorstep. Man, I don't know what else to say. That is a deal and a half. Okay, so, okay, now we have that out of the way. Thank you so much. If you've already subscribed, mwah, hit the bell, ic bell icon and get, uh, get, your, get your updates. And now, enough talking. Let's move on to our Whiskey of the Year 2021. But first, the runner-ups. Our second runner-up whiskey in this grand race for the best whiskey or my whiskey of 2021 or my greatest whiskey or my whatever you want to call it is da -da -da -da, drum roll is the Loch Lomond 14 years old I know what you're thinking you're thinking what are you serious I'm like yeah of course I'm serious this is a great dram it's my find of 2021 i'm glad i found it there's so little left because i drank the whole thing that's what you do with delicious whiskeys now the good thing about this whiskey number one see that age statement 14 years old show you something else 46 percent minimum bare minimum but it hit the mark that's fine and more importantly guys available for 53 pounds or $71. Man, that's a good deal. That's a good deal. Now, what do we have here? In terms of the, the taste on the nose, let me let's do this. Let's pour ourselves. It's the least we can do. There you go, there you go. Non-chill filtered, no color added. We like that, we like that. Oh, that's the other criteria, by the way. Non-chill filtered, no color added. Yes, everything original. Okay, here it is, here it is. The lovely, ah, the Loch Lomond, 14 years old. On the nose, very, very quickly, we have green apple and pear and sweet toffee with vanilla, some grapefruit citrus with a touch of smoke and subdued spices. And on the palate, it's a beautiful delivery. I've had it before, don't worry about that. It's quite robust with a hint of spices, very, very flavorful. And essentially, whatever you know you got on the nose, you got on the palate as well. Wonderful little dram, wonderful little whiskey. Very easy sipping, 
very easily, um, you know, a very accessible whiskey, something to start off the evening with. Uh, I like whiskeys that are good value for money and that you can drink a lot of. You know, when I say I drink a lot of, I don't mean drink in one sitting. I mean, over a period of time, you can drink them very, very frequently. And that's why I like whiskeys like this that are palatable and good value for money. But at the same time, you know, pack a little punch with that 46%, which is also very, very important. And uh, how's this made? Uh, there you go. So it says 14 years old, doesn't say how long, but um, first stage of maturation in first fill bourbon barrels and then 12 months in French oak limousine casks. Hence that little spicy note. Yes, excellent dram, good value for money, um, good uh, strength at ABV and easily available. Just go out right now and buy this. There's nothing wrong with this dram. It's a perfectly acceptable drinking whiskey. And that's why it's my second runner up for our whiskey of the year 2021 race. Our first runner up was very, very close to being the winner, but it got edged out by a couple of points. Our first runner up, and again, you might be surprised, is this lovely Tamdu, 15 years old. I've spoken about this Tamdu before. So what does it do? It checks all the boxes. It's 15, right? It has 46% ABV, exactly. And it comes to you at, oh, an even $100. So this is the most expensive bottle on our list, by the way. At an even $100, all 75 Queens pounds, you know? Um, but I think, again, a special whiskey, a good value for money whiskey, uh, given that it's 15 years old. Uh, I won't compare it to the Loch Lomond, which is quite a bit cheaper, but there's, there's, there's something, there's something, from a quality wise, it has something extra. It has a certain richness that the other one didn't. And for that, it's it's an, it, it edged out the Loch Lomond 14 for me. Um, so yes, uh, what, what do we know about this? This is matured in a mix of American and Spanish seasoned X sherry oak. And I will quickly run through the tasting notes. So on the nose, you have dry fruits and oranges, apricot, earthy vanilla, cedar, leather, and some cinnamon. And on the palate, very, very warming, oily, chocolate ice cream, uh, quite waxy with a hint of cloves and Christmas cake. Oh, so all the beautiful goodness that you can expect from sherry whiskeys. Ah, so good. It's all here. I won't drink this now. Uh, I'm enjoying I'm enjoying the Loch Lomond for now, so that's okay. I'm going to drink this later. In fact, I'm going to save it for a bit and then uh, get to it. So yes, this is our first runner up in our quest to find our whiskey of the year 2021. Easily available. You know, if you have $100 or 75 pounds to spare on a whiskey right now, buy it. It's a great, great Christmas whiskey as well. You know, whether you want to gift it to someone or yourself, this is this is a good one to get and I highly recommend it. So yes, the Tamdu 15, my second. Oh, sorry, the Tamdu 15, my first runner up. And finally, here it is, the moment. Q, Q firecrackers and the, the things that explode. What are they called? I don't know, confetti cannons. Oh yeah, confetti cannons. Confetti cannons and firecrackers and uh, woo, planes flying from overhead, dragging, dragging flags. Uh, and ooh, there's the military parade. There we go, because we are now about to unveil our whiskey of the year 2021. Slightly controversial, but I like that. And I will explain to you why I chose this whiskey. And to me, that whiskey is the Aaron. Quarter cask, the Bothy. Now, you're saying, dude, this doesn't have an age statement. This is a non-age statement whiskey. I agree, because on the label, it is a non-age statement whiskey. I get it. However, they are very, very, very clear about the maturation process. This is seven years in first fill bourbon barrels and then another two years in American oak quarter casks. It's written everywhere. This, sir, 
is a nine-year-old whiskey, seven plus two. Seven in first fill bourbon barrels, and then two years in uh, American oak quarter casks. And now, why do I have this on my list? I'll be very honest with you, man. Dude, look at that. It is 56, oh, what am I doing? There you go. It is 56.2% natural cost strength whiskey. This is 10 percentage points over and above the other two. And you know what the best part is? This sells for 48 pounds. That's right, my brothers and sisters and whoever else is watching. 48 pounds for uh, a cask strength whiskey. It was roughly $65. Non-chill filtered, no color added. Whiskey the way it's supposed to be drunk. It tells you exactly how old it is. Seven years in first fill bourbon, two years in American Oak Quarter Cast. I just told you. So as far as I'm concerned, there is an age associated with this whiskey. It might, it might sell as a non-age statement whiskey, which I think is weird because, hey, just say nine, a nine-year-old quarter cask. I think that sounds more exciting than a non-age statement quarter cask. Frankly, a nine-year-old, Aaron nine-year-old quarter cask, the bothy. Come on, do it. Everybody will buy this. Everybody will buy it. And, oh, it's so flavorful. Uh, let me tell you. So, yeah, available for 48 pounds? Like $65? Are you kidding me? That's a steal. And the taste, oh, the most flavorfully delicious whiskey I've had in a long time. Uh, the nose, uh, fruity citrus with some vanilla and apple, grassy almonds, a bit of varnish, oaky coconut, uh, some nutmeg, heather, and a hint of wood. And on the palate, quite sweet, very fruity, pineapple, uh, pear, lemon candy, grapefruit, hint of chilies, ginger coconut, and some oak. Perfect. Just that first fill bourbon. First fill bourbon barrels coming through strongly. And then that, then that, that really active quarter cask, smaller cask, driving in the flavors and ultimately bringing out this absolutely. <sighs> ah. Ah. So good. So flavorful, so yummy. Please don't tell anyone I drank from this bottle or else COVID, you know what I'm saying? But it is what it is. So yeah, there you have it, man. My whiskey of the year is the Aaron Quarter Cask, the Bothy. It is a stunning dram. It is at high cost strength. So you basically get at 56%, that means you get 20% more whiskey. Think about it. Keep adding a little few drops of water, more whiskey. And at 48 pounds, you have got to be kidding me. It is absolutely uh, uh, an amazing dram. I, I am in love with it. I've already bought like three bottles already. And uh, so good, so good. And yeah, just go out there and get it. Buy it for yourself. It's not even 50 pounds. And it tastes so good. And it's at high strength. It's at 56.2% ABV. And and I've told you how old it is. You know, just just go on any site and be like Aaron QC, the Bothy, and they will tell you seven years, two years, nine year old whiskey, ba bam. Just, and by the way, Aaron, come on, if you're watching, just put the damn age on it. You know, don't hide behind non age statement whiskey, just put the damn age on it. Okay? We would appreciate that. We shouldn't have to go hunting on different websites and, and trying to find out uh, how old is this whiskey. We, we, we should know, it should be on the label. So, next time, do your homework, man. Put the, put the age on the on the label so we can see it. Because we'll find out eventually, won't we? Anyway, that was my rant and I'm not going to take this anymore, any further. So, there you have it. I'm in a great mood. I have just unveiled my whiskey of the year, which is the Aaron Quarter Cask. Natural cask strength, non-chill filtered, no coloring, at this amazing price of 48 pounds. Man, go out and buy this whiskey, I'm telling you. But... If you wait, if you, I sounded like bore out there. If you wait, so, but if you wait till we hit 2000 subscribers and I shave off my mustache. And at that point, if you are a subscriber to this awesome channel, The Malt Activist, I will pick four winners. And like I said, logistics permitting, I will send each one of you a bottle of the Iron Quarter Cask 
to your doorstep. Logistics permitting. To your doorstep. All you have to do is be a subscriber. That's it. That's it. And then we will most probably do like some sort of live stream and we will, we will pick out, uh, we'll pick out winners from a randomizer. I promise you that. And then we'll pick one name and then that person will be the winner. It'll be as simple as that. I will let you know in, the, in a couple of weeks to follow what the process of being a part of this uh, giveaway will be just for now, be the subscriber. And that's all that matters. And that's, and that's, that's it. That's, that brings us to the end of this uh, awesome, awesome year, uh, rounding it off with an awesome whiskey that I love and I think you should try to. The Aaron Quarter Cask, the Bothy, natural cask strength, non-chill filtered, no coloring, bloody, bloody, blah, 48 pounds. Come on, it's a winner. Give it up, give it up for this whiskey. Woohoo! Wow, so there you have it, man. There you have it. We've done it, we've been on this journey together, we've got to the end of another year and I'm glad we're rounding it off like this because this has been amazing, you guys are awesome, I'm keeping this for now, so don't you worry and thank you, thank you for being a part of this video, part of this journey, I will see you very very soon, until next time, I am the Malt Activist, peace.